Hey, what's up everyone? Curious Wanderer here with another opinion piece. Hope you enjoy as you watch my probably very rusty Doom Eternal gameplay with multiple deaths. So, it's finally happened. Soiny has purchased Crunchyroll. The majority of anime distribution in the West will now happen under the umbrella of Soiny. That's Sony, of course. I say Soiny because they're full of soy. A lot of people are extremely worried. For some reason, they think that suddenly anime is going to become full of political correctness and be censored. I do not believe this is the case, and I will be telling you at length why I think these fears are baseless. As a disclaimer, I may have gaps in my knowledge, or some of it may be flat out wrong. If so, feel free to let me know. A while back, I watched an anime called Bakuman. I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. It is very good. This is an anime about some high school kids who decide they want to make manga, and so they have at it. Now, I'm sure it's not totally accurate being an anime, but many aspects of the show line up with what I've heard in the real world. What I've heard is that the manga industry is cutthroat and brutal. If your manga isn't making money, you get cut. End of story. This was reflected in the anime. It even explored the health problems many mangaka experience due to overwork. Why do I mention this? It's to illustrate that Japan is still very much a meritocracy. If you don't have what it takes, you're cut out. Japanese companies will not keep a product going that is not making them a profit. This dovetails into another point I want to make. You all remember what happened when Karakawa's cuffed CEO suggested censorship, right? The backlash was immediate and insanely fierce. He had to apologize and forfeit 20% of his salary for three months. Why would Karakawa go to such lengths to distance themselves from the remarks of their cuck CEO? Simple. They fear the effect his remarks may have on business. They know censorship is bad for business, and so they assured their customer base that they will not be censoring anything. So what can we take away from this then? Number one, Japan likes money. Number two, Japan knows that censorship means lost profits. Conclusion, manga and light novels should continue to be censorship free and full of variety for years to come. So far, I have only laid the groundwork for the rest of my argument. What is the source of anime? Well, it's true that there are some original anime, but the majority of anime are adapted from already existing manga and light novels. Remember who makes those manga and light novels? That's right. It's native Japanese people who don't give a fuck about Western censorship or political correctness. So, given the previous points, why is there a fear that suddenly anime will become full of political correctness and censorship? Is there some hidden power that Soiny unlocks by owning Funimation and Crunchyroll that I'm not seeing? Remember, Funimation and Crunchyroll are Western localizers. Their purpose is to do English dubs and provide subtitles. Funimation and Crunchyroll don't actually have any power to influence how anime is made. Yes, it's true they are on production committees and theoretically they have the ability to say, well, let's change this or let's censor that and so on. But that's all they can do is make suggestions. If the rest of the production committee thinks the suggestions suck and would result in a pissed off audience, they are overruled. Could Soiny gain the ability to regulate anime production with an iron fist? I mean, I suppose it's possible, but I don't know how or when that would happen. Finally, there is one other thing I want to mention. Soiny has a reputation for censorship, and rightly so. They've moved the censor station branch of their company to San Mateo, California, 
where the company is being run and managed by radical American SJWs. So of course any game from Japan that releases on PlayStation has to meet their censorship standards. Gaming is different than anime. When you release a game, the platforms are PC, Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. If you don't release on PlayStation, you are potentially giving up a huge number of sales. From a business perspective, it doesn't make sense to lose all of those sales over some anime titties. There is of course always the option to release an uncensored version on other platforms, but this increases development costs and not every company is willing to go to such lengths. And skipping the PlayStation doesn't make sense for high profile releases. Anime is very different. First of all, Soini, the main company, is still based in Japan and run by Japanese people. Although I cannot be certain, it is my belief that these people in Japan think very differently than the SJWs in California who are censoring anime titties. It's not like anime releases on only a few platforms and one of those platforms is mandating censorship. No, anime is produced how the creators want it and then it airs on TV and releases on domestic Japanese streaming services before being licensed for distribution in the West. The most Funimation and Crunchyroll can do is make trashy dubs and subs. If there does come a time when the West has enough clout to significantly influence how anime is made, I do not believe this is it. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.